guys, today, day three of the camp, Galibier. We got here Marcelo, our Argentinian from Germany. How are you feeling today? Great. Good experience yesterday. Today, it's perfect. We got great weather. Look at this beautiful mountains back there. Morning, Lydia, Galibier day. It's so beautiful. I love this climb. The views are magnificent. What a great day. Sun is shining. Check this out. We got Matthias here, Chief Vice Social Media Manager, rider extraordinaire. I had to stop in right now. Who is flying up the mountain? How are you feeling today? Uh, better than the days before. So, getting used to the altitude, trying to survive on the mountains. <laughs> We have uh, Nikolai Habgat yeah. from Denmark. He's very strong. I think he can win the race. Get ice. It will be there will be like a lot of very strong riders. Morning Hank. Morning. Hank is our rider from Belgium. Flatlander but lots of mountain experience. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Yes, I'm feeling great. Thank you. Ready for Galibier? Yes. I think my uh, my Carmen is a bit confused. It tells me it's 12-30%. Uh, <laughs> That's why I always say, get rid of all these electronics <laughs> and listen to your heart and brain. Having more fun, right? But we're having fun anyway. Yes, we are. One K to the top, Lydia. I'm so happy. I have the hugest smile. This is so beautiful, one of my favorite climbs. The views are so awe-inspiring. I don't know. That's amazing. Thank you, Uli, for making this possible. Thank you for joining us. Can you see the lake? He doesn't don't, answer. They don't see the lake? They don't see the lake. We don't care. We don't care. We're we are going to see the lake, right? We will see the lake. Yeah, because we are here in Bojani. Of course. Okay. We will so. be trained tomorrow yeah. next to the lake, up to Bourgoison. Bourgoison? Yeah, Bourgoison. And then we will do up the west. Yeah, fantastic. But what about the race, Mirko? Well, the race uh, is going to be tough. Yeah. So I'm going to bring some uh, uh, food supply. Bars, like uh, gels? What do you think? Yeah, I think three three bars and three gels. You think bars will be good during a race like this? Yeah, I will try to it eat a bar descending, descending yeah. when I get to the summit. Yeah. And uh, it, when I eat the climb, I'm going to have the first gel. So one gel for each climb. One gel for each climb. Yeah, and then we have the, the A station. So yeah. if I need an extra gel or extra bar okay. or, water, or water, then we get the fresh gel. water. Yeah. What do we, you will start with two bottles, like big bottles or small bottles? I use the GFNY stuff, so they are 750 millimeters. Yeah. So one uh, with electrolytes, one okay. just water. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna be okay. okay. We were talking about weather, so what about the paddle? Hmm, yeah, it's a hard one, you know, when it's warm. Short bips, short sleeve. Jersey, yeah. Sort of We're gonna wear the official jersey. I know it's a very light material. It's new model. Yeah. And uh, so it should be okay for the race. Of course, when it's like 40 degrees and uh, we are climbing under hot sun, there's not much you can do. I know GFNY spends a lot of time in researching the high quality material and uh, looking for new stuff to produce uh, and studying the best comfort for riders. Yeah, now, now we have the, like the long sleeve jersey for summer. Yep, I really loved it. I spent much time in Tuscany on the Alps and yeah. in Rome when it's like over 38 degrees and uh, super light material and keeps your body, let's say, cooler yeah. than if you compare it with a long, long uh, short sleeve uh, jersey. I know a lot of friends that they have super clear skin and very delicate. So they have to put a lot of sunscreen on the skin. Yeah. And while riding, there's wet like, yeah. Sweat. So when they saw me riding with a super light jersey, yeah. like they've been using it 
in the Philippines where the weather is super humid, super hot and they have strong sun. I saw, I saw Sean and Daniela use it as well in, in Cozumel, Cozumel, Mexico. Yeah. yeah, they are right because you don't need to put the sunscreen. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. ha you have the full UV protection yeah. and you get covered by the sun and there you go. You it's keep perfect. riding warm, not super hot and you keep a constant and steady temperature of your body and your skin. That's so perfect. nice. Yeah. yeah. Something else to wear is like the Jeff and White sunglasses. They protect your eyes like amazingly. Yeah. They are very good. I love them. Yeah, they're super light, yeah. super fast. You have a pan ventilation panel on top, yeah. so you don't get like fog. blind and yeah. fog lenses. And you know my favorite one are the photochromic lenses. Yeah, they are amazing. Yeah, because you start in the morning when the, the light is not super strong, so you got clear, clear lenses, lenses and then they become darker and darker, darker super yeah, quickly, quickly when uh, the sun comes out. Yeah. So guys, this is uh, just a few opinions from two GFNY super fun ambassadors and stuff from Bojani. I think it's everything, right? Yeah. So enjoy the See panorama. You on Sunday. Yeah. Sure. Ciao.